Going into the new year here, I wanted to highlight some things that I've found recently that I think are going to be some helpful resources for mostly Houdini, but some of it, I guess, applies to uh, not Houdini stuff, but mostly Houdini focused here. So the first thing that I wanted to look at is something that actually just launched, which is the, if I can get it to pop up, the cglounge.studio, which is going to be a new website where you can buy assets and courses. So this is from Arvid Schneider. He's the one that uh, launched this, I guess, and kind of put this together. So there's some different things that are available on here. There's some different free assets as well as some paid stuff. It's very much so in its infancy right now, but it seems to be more of like a creator focused environment, uh, which is always nice to see. But uh, there is a lot of things that are probably going to be posted on here, I would guess. Um, Arvid obviously is someone who creates a lot of things mostly based around Houdini. But there's some other people that have posted some things on here. And uh, if you join his Discord, there is quite a bit of stuff that has been popping up there recently as uh, new drops that are being posted to this. So there's some free stuff. There's some assets and some courses. So you can look through here and find some different things to learn from and use for Houdini and you know some other stuff as well that you can use just in your general uh, 3D workflows. One of the other things that I wanted to, to highlight is a couple of GitHubs. So first one is going to be the Mystery Pancake Houdini Fun um, GitHub. So there's a lot of different stuff on here. He's actually someone that helped out uh, with some issue that I was having with um, one of the HDAs that I was working on. And he was a very, very nice to help uh, code or fix the code that I had to um, make that asset a little bit more usable. So there's a lot of really interesting stuff here. Very awesome um, Houdini projects in here. There's a lot of different um, HDAs and um, some different HIP files as well that it show you how to do some different things. Really, really cool stuff. Really advanced stuff in some cases. Um, there's some really cool spring solvers. And then uh, he does go into... This one's actually really cool. This... this um, moving target, this little aimbot thing. Really cool project here. Um, lots of, you know, different targets there as well. Uh, but there's some different cop stuff as well, which is always, you know, nice to see. There's some advanced, more advanced cop stuff in here as well. Uh, lots of different files in this. So definitely take a look through this. Very nice of him to um, help out with, with an issue that I was facing as well and help me get that coded. Next thing that I, and actually before I move on, this is actually a, the next one is actually a GitHub that is actually linked in uh, in here. So in these more Houdini resources, which is this Lewis Saunders hip files. And if I pull this over, he has a bunch of different stuff here as well. A lot of these I would say are gonna be more towards the more advanced side of things. So there's lots of different hip files for this as well. Um, this one's really cool. This is something that he's shown off in some different places. If I can get it to play, it doesn't want to play, but this is a, I'm not sure what's going on there, but this is a um, cops rasterization for particles. Um, basically you kind of rasterize them into one pixel and there's some different movement here. that looks kind of like a cops kind of, fluid movement to it. These don't want to play for some reason, but um, that's another example of it. So lots of different stuff in here as well. Some really good stuff for um, cops and just some different stuff just in general. I would definitely recommend taking a look through this website, um, this GitHub here. And I will link everything that I have shown here in the description as well. So you can grab um, all those links there. The next thing that I wanted to show is something that I actually saw on Reddit recently, which is somewhat similar to the um, Node Society that I have put together. This is going to be a kind of a repository for some different HIP files. I don't know if it's just HIP files or if it's just or if it's got some um, HDAs in here as well, but you can upload your HIP files. It's a, maybe a little bit easier 
than what I created for the Node Society, uh, but this is just kind of a different one as well. There is a few users that have uploaded most of the things so far, uh, but this is relatively new as well. So if you want to contribute to this, add some things to this, then you can definitely do that. And um, there's some, you know, a GIF here, a picture here that shows what it does. And then that's got like a screenshot of our the HIP file there. Um, and you can download the, the HIP files and stuff as well. They've got different tags so you can filter through stuff. So if we wanted, let's say, rigid bodies, we can see that we get this glass shatter one or like Copernicus. We have this fake point attribute to texture. I guess uh, some of these have more than others. So just take a look through this. There's some different Solaris stuff here. There's some cool um, things in this. One of the more interesting ones, there's like differential growth here. Um, some vellum stuff. You know, there's lots of different things in here that go back a a ways. Um, so you can sort through all of these and, and find, you know, whatever you're looking for. You can also enter your keywords there. So take a look at this site. It's just another resource to learn some things inside of Houdini. It's also something that you can contribute to if you are interested. And then the last thing is something that isn't fully out yet, but it's something that is talked about um, a lot, or at least his other courses, and that is going to be the rendercourse.com. So this is in early access. So this is from Christian Bohm, and he is someone that created the Houdini course website, and that goes through basically a, a training, an introductory training for Houdini. So if you haven't looked at that, it's something that is pretty common um, knowledge for Houdini, I would say. But this render course is kind of his second um, entry into that. A lot of questions came about for rendering, and this is his take on that. So this is still in development, but if you want to register for this and take a look at this when it comes out, I would venture to guess that it would be finishing up somewhat soonish. Uh, but I know he's been working on this for uh, a little while now. So definitely take a look at all these. Like I said, all the links will be in the description. If you want to take a look at them, uh, you can jump through all of them and see some interesting hip files and HDAs and maybe learn uh, a thing or two. So anyways, hopefully this helped you out. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day.